Good day everybody, just a very quick video to share with you a bit of work I'm doing on a Founders Edition GTX 1080 Ti. was not planning to do a video, but it occurred to me uh, this could be quite useful for uh, others who are doing a replacement of thermal pads and paste. So what I just thought I'd show you quickly uh, is, well, firstly, there are so many screws uh, yeah, really blow me away about how many screws are involved here to take this Fanners Edition card apart. Compared to others, like an RTX 2060, there's probably eight, ten screws. Clips apart, job done. I would honestly say it's probably about 50 screws here. Anyway, we've done it, we've opened it. Hopefully it goes back together with no screws uh, left out. But let me just show you the thermal pads. So basically, there's four thicknesses that I've used here. Uh, on the memory, I am using 1.5 mil thickness thermal pads. Over here, this big fat one, I'm using a two mil thermal pad. The thin one here is one mil. And all the rest, these are basically little white ones that you get uh, on the inside of Founders Editions. I think I've taken them all off now but they look something a little bit like this they're very thin almost like meshy kind of um, putty but essentially I've worked out they're about half a mil so basically on all these very small ones here I've got half a mil thermal pads so just going through it again very quickly the memory's got 1.5 mil the big fat one here has got 2 mil this thin one here has got 1 mil and all the rest, all these little pieces here, where there was these white little pads, is half a mil. So there's four different thicknesses all together. So guys, I hope you find that useful. Good luck with all the screws if you're doing one yourself, but I hope this has been useful uh, for you. Um, by the way, I am using um, Gelid GP Ultimate thermal pads, and I'll be using some Noctua uh, I think it's HT NT uh, thermal paste. I'll do I'll do an update in the next few days and let you know how the temperatures go. I'm sure they should come down somewhat. Thanks for watching, guys. Hope you found this useful. And yeah, let me know if you've got any further questions. Goodbye.